Hey, welcome back y'all, it's Don, and today they expect me to die, again. And the funny thing is, is I'm actually looking forward to it, because we're going to be taking a look at the demo for I Expect You to Die 2, The Spy and the Liar from Shell Games. Now, this is coming out summer 2021, and not, not too far at all, just right around the corner, and I cannot wait to see what Shell has been cooking up. The, the original I Expect You to Die was one of my all-time favorite early VR experiences. I, I remember playing, I think, the demo from Oculus Share on my DK2, and it just blew me away, so, you know, Watching them grow from the beginning has been awesome, so I can't wait to see where they take the franchise next, and I can't wait to take you guys with me. So let's get in there and let's take a look at the demo for I Expect You to Die 2, The Spy and the Liar. Agent? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, uh, I can. Don't worry. The briefcase is safe. Do you remember what happened? I have no uh, idea. Your memory might be a bit patchy from the attack. Well, take all the time you need. You're back at headquarters and you're perfectly safe. You'll find a tape on the desk in front of you. Load the tape into the projector console on your right. Okay, and again, familiar but different. So, all right, uh, this is the new headquarters, I guess. Uh, so, looks like we're in a doctor's office, actually. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, whatever it is, I'll take it. So, we've got a cupcake and a projector and a clipboard and the enhanced operative exam here, some sort of safe there. Uh, got the groovy music going on coming from the loudspeaker behind me, and it actually does kind of sound like it's back over here. So, team, that's cool. Agent. Yeah, no, you know, I, I, I get it. I'm, I'm, I, but ready? I got to talk to these folks for, for, for a minute here. So, um, but yeah, all right. So, um, exactly what I was, oh, a locked. I can't get in there. Uh, so exactly what I was hoping for. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping for kind of more of the same, but uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I was kind of hoping to be standing for this. So, all right, let's see here. Gas bombs. Okay, so, ooh, that's a bomb disposal. The tape, right. agent. Into the projector. Um, you know, Whenever I'm going to have my cupcake, and then we'll get to the tape, buddy, all right? You know, I, I haven't been here in a while, and you're just trying to rush me, man. And, you know, I, I don't know if, if I'm cool with that, because I just, I really wanted to kind of get an eye exam and, you know, learn about the brain here a little bit, and, uh, you know, just, just kind of do some stuff here with my bomb and you know this 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 uh, pro cap adhesive tape here and some bandages i'm probably going to need those and some the tape band-aids yeah Into no the i'm projection. getting there i'm getting Whenever there um oh oh citizens arrest uh laser detention unit um and and a fine motor skills yeah so all right, let's see here. Yep, oh, same as the first game. All right, that is that is exactly the same as the first game. So, once again, very familiar, same as the first. Second verse, same as the first. All right, now, let's go. I imagine you might recognize that bomb disposal device in front of you from your time as a cadet. In fact, it, given the wear and tear, it might be the same one. Well, I'm sure it still works. Now, let's see. How do I... Ah, uh, yes. There it goes. Oh, just a bit further now. Let's, uh, don't, don't hit me in the right. head now. Disarm this bomb, if you would. Uh, okay. Um, well, y'all want to give me a clue here? Um... Uh... Okay. Wonderful! Yes! Next, the machine should dispense a grenade for me. Ah, there it is. Let's use it to test out that telekin. Eh? You've got it. Why don't you pick it up and bring it closer? Now, try using your telekinesis to hover the grenade nearby. Nope, that's right. Wait, hold on. Good, your there telekinesis go. is still working. <laughs> I hear that when those things malfunction, it's usually very messy. Now to dispose of that grenade. Use your telekinesis to place it inside the blast chamber. Um, Shut the door and then pick up that remote detonator so you can explode the chamber's contents. Okay. 
So let's open the door here. Put you in there. Close that. Get this remote thingy. And oh, oh, drop the remote thingy. And then get the remote thingy again. And then boom. Good. Good. For your final test, you will need to dispose of three more explosives hidden around the examination room. Good luck. I'll get um. you a list so you know what you're looking for. Okay. I suggest you hover the clipboard nearby so you can refer to it as you conduct your search. Search the exam room, Agent. Find and dispose of every explosive. Okay. Um, yep, got, got one right there. Maybe over here. Some boom! Excellent. All I'll right. make a special note regarding your technique. Well, you know, you should because, like, it it's it should be taught. You know, I mean, like, I'm, you know, I think I think people should know my technique, and I think that you know my technique is is, is pretty worthy. So thank you, thank you for recognizing that. I, you know, I, I, it really makes things uh, much much easier for me. Well done. Here. Um, in my bomb finding um, capacity. Uh, oh. Ah, no. Is it an exploding hat? Nope. I'm not gonna wear that hat. Oh, there it is. Yep. You look like you're an explodey ball. Oh, there we go. Be ambidextrous here. What else you got in here? Got some uh, hemostat dressing? No, I don't think so. What, uh, what else here? Some oh, some some absorbent cotton. Yeah, and some more dressing. Oh oh oh, got one of those things. You know, uh, you gotta have those. And uh, last but not least, we, we we got some lint, some some sterile lint. Um, just like from my dryer, I'm sure. And a toothbrush. Um, kind of. Oh, oh, gotta, gotta, kind of put that in my mouth there. Search the exam room, agent. Um, Find and dispose of every explosive. Okay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking here. I got, I got my, my paddle thing and a toothbrush in my mouth and, and a lady's hat on. I must look amazing right now. So, all right. Where's this last bomb? Did I already put it in there? Yeah, I did. Good work, Agent. You passed all of the tests with flying colors. I've got just about everything I need. Well, thank you. Don't worry, Agent. I've got everything under control. All right. Sounds good, bud. Haha, <laughs> very cool. Nice. Okay. Man, I gotta tell you, I loved the first I Expect You to Die, and I cannot wait to play this. From the spotlight, I can see you. <laughs> I love it. God's right, kill your stage fright, this could be you. Oh yeah. Okay. Are we in the intro? Do we get to see the intro in the demo? Uh, because the first one had like one of the greatest intros ever, and this is cool. Yeah, this is awesome. From the background. Ah, the scale. That's great. Highest billing makes a killing. They reveal. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa y'all, whoa, y'all. So you be the spy and I'll be the liar. Oh, you shot me, bro. Face to face to face again. And through the camera lens we ascend. Once or twice a week. You're for six years. Apart, I 
I'm the major star. Um. <laughs> the credits are more than just the end. Oh, hey now. Because the truth is, I despise you. I will tear apart all these works of art that disguise you. I'm what? making the final cut. It's down to the wire. <laughs> will Wheaton. So you be the nice. Shut up, Wesley. Props to Shell Games for getting Wesley Crusher. And I'll be the liar. All right, not Wesley Crusher, Will we? Love the guy either way. He reads a mean Ready Player One. This van isn't as luxurious as your old office, but we can't let Zaraxxus know you survived your last mission. You've got a knack for putting a wrench in Dr. Zor's plans, so Zaraxxus employees may not react kindly if they recognize you. On the bright side, now you've got a mini-fridge. Yeah, as usual, oh, hey. Zoraxis Corporation is up to something oh, vile and nefarious, but we haven't been able to figure out what. The Prime Minister is certainly making himself a target. Keep an ear to the radio agent. You never know what they might let slip. Okay, now, got a boss. Your briefing materials should be arriving any second. Ah, where's that blasted courier? Aha! Speak of the devil. Aha! Take the cartridge from the tray on your right and load it gently into the cartridge viewer in front of you. John Juniper. Okay. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna load you just yet. I want to kind of look around my office here. So, all right, very cool. This looks like this has replaced the office from I Expect You to Die One. Uh, we are now in a van. Uh, got all sorts of cool hats we can put on here. Um, looks like we can throw things and see if we can. Oh, swish right in there. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so. Um, not gonna lie, it, it, this is super, super familiar, and, and that is not a bad thing by any means. I, I you know, the, the, I was expecting it to be a little different, but but I gotta say, you know, the, the familiarity of this is is just bringing it all back, and, 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 and I know how to play now, so. Operation Stage Fright. All right, well, here we go. Now, our intel indicates the Prime Minister is attending an event in Manhattan tonight. My instincts say Zoraxis will try something there, and my instincts are only wrong about half the time. Oh, and the event is hosted by Hollywood actor John Juniper. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm such a fan. His performance in Marigolds Are Forever was so... Uh, Excuse me. Let's get you undercover so we can figure out what Zaraxxus is up to. Marigolds are forever. <laughs> oh, the announcer guy cracks me up. <laughs> okay, this is great. My oh, instincts man. were right. This place is crawling with Zoraxis operatives. Now, you're all sent up backstage. Maintain your cover as a stagehand until you can find and disable the threat. All right, gotcha, I boss. I managed to snag a ticket to the show, so I'll keep an eye on the Prime Minister. You know, for a man who could launch 50 nukes with the push of a button, he's much more grandfatherly than I expected. Well, find out what Zoraxis is up to. All right. Will do. Okay, so here we are, man. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is finally into one of the actual levels from the game, of which I believe there are going to be six. And, ah, this is great. I, you know, okay, like, like some of you who watch the channel know, I used to do theater, and so I've actually been up in a rig like this where I had to actually pull the chains and lock them down, and, you know, so this is, this is just bringing back some earlier theater geek nostalgia. So, anyway, all right, grab a donut, get started here. I gotta get on the clock here. I think I'll have a couple. 
Eh, I'll eat them all. Sure, why not? Get rid of that. Um, okay, let's make sure this is a show to remember, people. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that. Now there's litter on the stage. Can I pick that back up? Yes, I can. Alright, excellent. Gotta keep that stage clean, y'all. Okay. Oh, writing. 1967, Hamlet, the Phantom was here. 2112. Oh, fire. Alright. Oh, wait. Got drawers. Oh, got some darts. Let's go ahead and get everything we can set up. Got another clipboard here. Oh, and a key. We're going to need a key. Oh, and, and some glasses, and a mustache, and a watch. So, all right, there we go. I am styling looking right now, y'all. I am certain. Oh, wait. Here, I'm going to top that off with a hat. I am, like, super, super fancy right now. I, I can't even tell you. So, all right, let's go ahead and take that off. No, no, come on now. Here, let's put the hat in the drawer here. Oh, come on. There you go. You got this. You got this. You can go. You can go in the drawer. There we go. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Got a little tiny shield. wonder if I'm going to have to duke it. Ow! Oh! Wait. Don't lose my stuff here. Oh, there's a crossbow. I bet that's for those little tiny arrows. There we go. And that box. And this thing. Okay, so we've got it all laid out here. All right, so we keep the headphones on. Looks like I'm supposed to put the headphones Attention, on. Attention, stage crew. Today's the big day. If anything goes wrong with my play, well, remember what happened to that sound designer. Wait, what happened to Jerry? Is Set the stage, everyone. I want Not Jerry. a impeccable performance from all of you. Oh, you up there. Up in the catwalk. Oh, uh, yeah, Be me? sure to follow the new instructions I left on your clipboard. That voice sounds familiar. Stay on your guard, Agent. Okay, I got you, boss. All right, so looks like we got to set the stage, raise the curtain, and turn the spotlight on. So, banners down. And, okay, the bears, the banners. Um, okay, all right, so... Oh, there we go. Banners are coming down. Oops. Okay. Banners are coming down really slowly, so let's just speed that up. Lock it off. I always lock it off for safety. All right, so here we go. Orchestra's warming up. Oh, this is bringing back some really, really old memories from, like, like many, many years ago. Okay, so next we need to um, set the clock to red here. What, what, what is the clock? No. Oh, we're almost ready to go. Keep an eye on your cue light. I'll turn it on when we're ready for curtain up. Okay, you do that, lady. Oh, you up there. Yes, you. Um, You're a stagehand. Uh, Get yeah, the stage me? ready. Uh, I'm working on it. Oh, there's the clock. Okay. Okay, so the clock is white. Um, oh, RGB. Okay, Roy G. Bibb here. Make you red. Oh, you got a light. All right, excellent. I think we have set stage the stage. Is set. Raise the curtain. Okay. Raise the curtain. Raise the curtain. There's our key. I bet that goes there. Lock that off. Oh no! Um, no, that broke, uh, lady. Um, th this is gonna. The, okay, maybe the curtain will just stay. Um, spotlight. Um, there we go. That's John Juniper in the flesh. 
<laughs> oh, Agent, I, uh, well, I'm sure That's we so can cool. handle things from here. Good evening, everyone. Now, I know what you're thinking. John, these tickets cost more than my yacht. This better be good. <laughs> I also want to take the opportunity to make a special announcement. I've got something new in production. I can't say too much yet, but I can safely say that you've never seen anything like it. Oh, boo! Ah, uh, that's the end of the demo. Okay, so I was really getting into that, man. Um, so, all right, there you have it. Um, August 2021 is what we are looking at for the release of the full game and all six levels. And man, I cannot wait to play the rest of this game. So shell games, very familiar, but different, I guess. I don't know, but I want more. And more of the same is always a good thing when it comes to I Expect You to Die. So I can't wait to die over and over and over again, and I can't wait to take you guys with me. We will be covering the full game at launch, but for today, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching to the end if you've made it this far, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.